Hi, it's Bruce. It's Sunday, February 27th, and where does the time go? I don't have time to get these video blogs done anymore. A couple weeks ago, Bill and I went to St. John for a whole week on an island. Eight of us rented a house with a four bedrooms and pool, and it was sun and fun, and I got tan, and you can't tell because it's fading already, but I have some color. All right, well, we saw uh, in the last month, not including the week I wasn't here, we saw five shows, only one musical and four plays, and the musical I saw was Billy Elliot for the second time. And the reason I went back is because our friend Emily Skinner is now the dance teacher. And Emily is phenomenal. I'm so glad we went to see it again. She's in great shape. She's funny. She sings spectacularly. And Billy Elliot is in great shape. We saw, um, and they said that the uh, kid that we saw playing Billy, uh, who was Joseph Harrington, had just started a few weeks before, and he was really great. Great dancer, and uh, even better, a really good singer. So I know they're all trained to do everything, but uh, he really carried off the singing as well. So uh, Billy Elliot's in great shape. It still um, makes me cry, you know, when little Billy dances with older Billy and all that. That's that Peter Pan Neverland little boy thing that I got, you know? I think a lot of us got it. I'll never lose it. All right, so Billy Elliot, I highly recommend. Now, a couple of these plays, <clears throat> uh, one has closed and one is closing this week. Uh, the one that closed, we just saw uh, the last this last weekend, it's closing, I think, today. Uh, mistakes were made starring Michael Shannon. Uh, it's about a producer, a film producer, a Broadway producer who's trying to put together uh, a Broadway, sh a new Broadway play about the French Revolution, and he's trying to get this big Hollywood star, uh, sort of maybe a Johnny Depp kind of guy, um, a cast uh, wanting to do it. And uh, he's on the phone for like a hundred minutes with I can't tell you what. It's a it's a wild farce on a telephone, and uh, while he's feeding his fish. Anyway, uh, Michael Shannon, who I find an interesting actor. This was he was phenomenal in this, and it was like an acting. Uh, it was a master class in acting. Uh, he was great. I it must be exhausting to do that for a hundred minutes. Uh, the other play which uh, is closing this week, is an off-Broadway show called A Perfect Future. And, uh, you know, it was a very interesting play, but I, the reason I really, if you want to see a great performance, uh, and you have some time available this week, um, Donna Bullock uh, is especially, the cast is very good, uh, Daniel Oreski is Donna Bullock, Michael T. Weiss, and Scott Drummond. But Donna Bullock especially reminded me of uh, almost a better Annette Benning. She gave a wonderful performance. It's about four, uh, three uh, friends from college who were radical, sort of political radicals, uh, meeting up. Two of them are married. Uh, one is a big-time Wall Street guy who's made a lot of money. And uh, their gay college friend is visiting, and they you have another gay guy come over and sort of try to fix him up. And in the meanwhile, uh, things go awry and conversations and histories are blended and made and argued over. And um, they drink about 14 bottles of very expensive wine in front of you. Uh, it's only 90 minutes, there's intermission, and I think there's an intermission because I think those actors have to go to the bathroom because they are drinking wine. Anyway, so it's a, it was a very interesting play, and uh, as I said, it's only running another week. Uh, probably will be done in regional theaters a lot. All right, now, two Manhattan Theater Club plays we saw last Sunday. Uh, we went to see The Whipping Man, Matinee, and Good People for the evening performance. We had a day at the theater. Now, The Whipping Man is uh, by a young playwright, a new playwright, uh, named Matthew Lopez, and I thought he was a very good young playwright, and I saw him on New York One, and I, he's cute. So Matthew, you got a fan here. Your writing is good, and you're cute. Um, the cast is one, uh, 
there's so many great actors on stage in New York. Uh, it's just amazing. It's wonderful to go out and see all this stuff. Andre Brower, Andre Holland, and Jay Wilkison. Uh, uh, the play is directed by Doug Hughes, who directs everything that Daniel Sullivan doesn't direct, because Daniel Sullivan directed good people. So they're both on display here. <clears throat> Whipping Man takes place at the end of the Civil War with a, a Jay Wilkinson, uh, Wilkinson, who's returning home, uh, very wounded, to his house where his family is no longer, and the two slaves have been keeping uh, the house, Andre Brower and Andre Holland, uh, he returns to them. What gives this a twist is that uh, the soldier is Jewish. He comes from a Jewish family pre-Civil War uh, in the South, and so are the slaves. The slaves were raised Jewish. And it's, uh, they have a little Seder on stage. It's quite intriguing, and uh, the juxtaposition of slave and master in the Civil War, and uh, uh, it, it was a very intriguing play. So I do recommend it. <clears throat> but I highly recommend Good People, which uh, is by David Lindsay Bear, and as I said, directed by Daniel Sullivan. And the cast, again, Becky Ann Baker, Patrick Carroll, Tate Donovan, Renee Elise Goldsberry, Francis McDormand, which is the reason you really want to see it, uh, and Estelle Parsons, which is the other reason you really want to see it. Uh, it's about uh, Francis McDormand is, you know, a Southie from Boston, and uh, yeah, the, you know, the working class. You kind of hear that Southie accent a lot. <clears throat> she gets a uh, little... I'll tell you a little about the plot. I don't think it'll spoil it. She gets fired from her job early. She has a daughter who's an adult daughter with uh, mental and physical uh, problems and uh, really needs the money that she gets from working. So she hooks up with, uh, tries to find Tate Donovan. She runs into Tate Donovan and uh, looks him up, and he's a, was. They dated, they dated way back in high school. Now he's a well, very well-off doctor in the Boston area uh, who's married. And uh, that's all I'll tell you, except that uh, the history of the two and uh, her situation in needing the job and gives uh, a, the whole drama its uh, drama. Uh, I, I really, really was listening uh, Manhattan Theatre Club last year did Time St Stood Still, a play that I loved, and this is like another great, great production and great play. Uh, it's wonderful to see these new plays. Manhattan Theatre Club has been doing a really good job, and having Francis McDormand last year, having Laura Linney, uh, was wonderful. So, uh, of all the plays, I recommend Good People most, and of course, uh, the musicals. I only spoke of one, I say, if you haven't seen Billy Elliot, go see it with Emily. <clears throat> and uh, if you have seen it, go see it with Emily. Uh, coming up in the weeks to come, we're finally getting some new musicals here. So we're going to be seeing uh, Catch Me If You Can, Priscilla Queen of the Desert, uh, Book of Mormon. i got tickets for all these. So I'll be talking more about musicals uh, soon. But there's a certainly a lot of drama around uh, the New York area. All right, see you soon. I hope I blog a little faster the next time.